Hello, this is Sufri. Welcome to PSLE Math Hacks. Today, we'll be talking about fractions. Did you know where does the word fraction come from? Fraction comes from the Latin word frangere. So, what does it mean? It means to break something. You may be asking, why are fractions so important in our lives? Well, fractions can be used in our everyday life. For example, when you have the entire pizza to yourself and you want to just eat one slice of the pizza, you have to break the pizza into parts. And when you are taking just one part of it, you are having a one of the entire pizza. That is a representation of fraction. So, what are fractions? Fractions are values that are less than a whole. It is also an amount of a greater proportion. For example, half. This image shows a figure of a whole. On the other hand, this image shows various fractions of that whole. So, when you are writing a fraction, there must be two parts, the numerator and the denominator. The numerator represents the part that you have. On the other hand, the denominator represents the whole. A common mistake that students usually make is they add the two fractions together. Here's an example. This shouldn't be the case because you have to ensure that their denominators are the same. So, half plus two-thirds Look at their denominators first. Find the common denominator. In this instance, for half, you have to multiply the denominator by 3. As for 2 thirds, you have to multiply the denominator by 2. The common denominator will be 6. Now, ensure that when you do the multiplication, you multiply both the numerator and the denominator. You will get 3 out of 6 plus 4 out of 6 will give you 7 out of 6. That is in an improper fraction form. So, do remember to change it to the mixed number which is 1 whole and 1 out of 6. Now, you try. What is 3 out of 10 plus 2 out of 5? Pause the video here and give the question a try. And the answer is 7 out of 10. So, how do we get 7 out of 10? First, remember to ensure both fractions have the same common denominator. You multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So, you will get 3 out of 10 plus 4 out of 10, which gives you the answer 7 out of 10. It's okay if you make a mistake. What's more important is that we learn from our mistake. Now, let's talk about equal fractions. Problems involving equal fractions must have numerators that are the same. However, students tend to confuse and think that the denominators are always equal. This is not the case. Tip! Use the equal fraction method when a particular question mentions fractions that are equal to one another. Are you ready for the next question? In a company of 200 workers, half of the male workers is equal to 
three quarter of the female workers. How many more male workers than female workers are there in the company? Now, pause the video and give this question a try. Are you ready for the answer? The answer is 40. Now, this is how it's done. First, you equate both fractions. Make the numerators equal, not the denominators. Final denominators refer to total number of units for female and male workers respectively. Math is a very creative subject. You require a lot of imagination and visualization in order for you to identify certain patterns. This is crucial for you to solve math problems. We hope you have enjoyed today's PSLE Math Hacks. Share with us if you have any of your PSLE Math Hacks down the comment section below. Tune in again for the next session on Percentage.